Right. Hi, Governor. My name is Angela Chen with KESQ. Um, we are, of course, interested about the impact of lithium production on the surrounding salt and sea areas, especially the more impoverished areas. And I don't think you can talk about uplifting an area without talking about the salt and sea. Um, we know that the Species Conservation Habitat Project is moving along, but the SSMP project lost its lead, Arturo Delgado. He retired in August, but has not been replaced. Do you have a timeline for when he will be? Because, uh, you know, it seems to, it's tough to have. You, you got the answer right there. Uh, I'm sorry? Days. Days. Is that a promise? Within this month? <laughs> All right, okay, so we can expect to see a replacement for Delgado within the fund. Um, and the other thing we wanted to to ask about was um, what some people have said is a perceived uh, reluctance from the state to assume long-term responsibility for the various projects along the Salton Sea. You have the SBA, which is great, but if we're talking about the health of the lake as a whole, why is the state not committing, putting the funds up, or assuming long-term responsibility for these other projects along the lake. Mia, I, I'm going to I'm going to ask Wade, who's been managing these projects. I, I'll just say this in a non-defensive posture: we proactively put up more money than the previous administration, probably more than all of them combined. We've worked aggressively to seek more federal support and more federal funding. I've got my entire team more focused on the Salton Sea than any previous administration. I can't make up the last 40, 50 years. I can't make up for Mother Nature's fury and what's happened in the Colorado uh, or the New River. What I can do is take responsibility for the moments we're living in. And I'm very proud of the progress uh, that we're seeing. But I'm very mindful that the 30,000 acres that we're committed to by 2028, we haven't finished that yet, but nor is it 19, nor is it 2028. We've got a great team on the ground uh, and led by Wade Crowfoot, our resource uh, lead, and I couldn't be more proud of his work, but he'll tell you more about it. Yeah, I'll just start by uh, sharing what the governor shares with us privately and acknowledge that residents around the sea have been waiting a very long time for projects that are going to stabilize the sea. The sea has been shrinking, exposing the dust and the playa that worsens air pollution. We've lost major fish and wildlife habitat, and we need action. And so, as he mentioned, uh, over the last four years, we have built momentum, uh, thanks to the leadership of the people behind me. Uh, our legislative leaders, including uh, Assemblymember Garcia and the governor, have allocated over $500 million to projects at the sea. The governor noted that the federal government, for the first time ever, just committed $250 million to projects that are being developed at the sea. As the governor mentioned, we were just at a 4,100 acre habitat project, which really is, a, is the epitome of our progress at the sea. But we hear it all the time. We need to materialize more projects around the sea. And that's happening. That's happening with our partners in Imperial County, thanks to Supervisor Kelly. It's happening in Riverside County, thanks to our partnerships with Supervisor Perez and others. It's happening with the partnerships of the Torres Martinez Band of Desert Cahuilla Indians. So we recognize that we need to continue to accelerate progress at the sea. Uh, so you'll see more projects uh, like the one we visited this morning in, in months and years to come.